I guess my parents never really cared whether I passed or failed. I was not a promising student. Papers are good, but the numbers are less. They're still a pain in the ass. They were always a pain in the ass. They'll always be a pain in the ass. I don't think there's any difference. They're equally like they're still a pain in the ass. They were always a pain in the ass. They'll always be a pain in the ass. And uh, kinda um, again, I I always say that they're very screwed up in the sense that half the people who are writing they just they write whirlpool and sunny they all get gone in their exams and board exams and other exams. So yeah, there's something fundamentally wrong with it. But yeah, no difference. Still a pain in the ass. I guess my parents never really cared whether I passed or failed. Because maybe I was a bright student, so my mom never pressurized me into you know you have to get hundred percent in maths or something. Whereas if I compare today's scenario, I see students getting a lot of pressure because there are so many fields that they have to excel in, and apart from that, they also have to excel in studies. So it's just a build up for them. I think in our times, exams were more relaxed than what we get to see now with the kids. I think there is a lot more pressure on them to perform good and get good marks. I was not a promising student, honestly, so I would not know anything that would come in the paper. So I would uh, probably go and play cricket and get confidence out of it and you know go and appear for the exam that's it i remember that uh, board exams shuru matlab hone ke 2 saal pehle like 8th mein hi logon ne shuru kar diya tha 2 saal mein board hai 2 saal mein board hai 2 saal mein jaise pata nahi president ne milne aana tha mere se aur mujhe uske liye shayad koi pata nahi grand speech prepare karni thi so that was the impression that board ho gaya pata nahi kya ho gaya to aise lagta tha he bhagwan pata nahi kahan hi bitha denge hame jab main first time exam hall mein ja ke baithi thi to mujhe lagta tha ki kya hai ye to main har saal karti hu just because it's a different freaking school to mere sir बेटे थे दो साल से शुरुआत से तो कभी पढ़ा, पढ़ाई होती नहीं थी पढ़ाई हमेशा एग्जाम के टाइम पर ही होती है पेपर्स अच्छे आते हैं लेकिन नंबर्स कम हो जाते हैं वी हैव टू स्टडी ऑल थ्रू द नाइट एंड स्टडी इन द मॉर्निंग हैविंग अ टाइनी नैप इन द आफ्टरनून एंड देन स्टडी अगेन दिस वाज द रूटीन व्हिच माय पेरेंट्स गिव मी एवरी टाइम सो या इट वाज ऑलवेज स्टडीज ग्रुप डिस्कशंस विद माय फ्रेंड्स quite frankly i also i used to have my own room there and i would like bring all my books together lot many snacks together lie on the bed study sleep eat study sleep eat that was it i didn't have not have post exam stress i had only pre exam stress once i had given my answers and come out of the hall i was like done This is done. This boat has sailed. This ship has sailed, and I am not looking back. And जब तक result नहीं आए थे ना, तब तक I had stopped like looking at the website. I just went off for a vacation, and I was like, मुझसे तो बात ही मत करो. कोई exam की बात करता था, मैं वहीं से U-turn मार लेती थी. I think I give it to my parents. They have been very supportive, and they would never put any pressure on me about scoring good marks and all. Oh man, I couldn't sleep the night before the date was to be declared, and in the morning, and I did not have internet access at that time. I'm talking about tenth standard, so I was just waiting if someone will come and tell me, okay, you have passed or failed. Quite gladly, I got eighty nine percent. I remember when it was the results day, the day of the results. Earlier in the school standard, when uh, the parents had to go with the student. to take the results then i remember i ha- i was repeating the name of every god that i know every god hanuman ji ganesh ji vishnu ji everybody ki bhaiya results acche aa jaye nothing <laughs> more results acche aa jaye baki baki pure saal nahi yaad karunga bas results acche aa jaye so i every time i have given my exam i make sure i eat two chini ka paratha Yes, yeah, so there's a reason behind it. Um, so it gives you uh, good sugar throughout the exam, good glucose level throughout the exam, so you can think better. Plus, uh, your stomach is full with that. So yeah, you won't be having any stress if you had actually studied seriously. So, uski koi stress buster technique nahi hai. But yeah, um, during exams, I feel some comics would do good. I used to study a lot of, uh, used to read a lot of comics, all those uh, diamond comics or everything, whichever was present. Uh, meet as few relatives as you can before your exams. Uh, meet as few, go to as few family gatherings, parties, high class, 
cocktails don't like just don't meet people who are not giving exams because people who are giving exams know your pain they will not piss you off the people who are not giving exams aka neighboring aunties and uncles and chindi bindi bacche who are just taught the exam kab hai aapka those are the people who are pain in the ass so just like don't meet with people do your and just forget about the world talk to friends and disturb all those who are studying and making you uncomfortable over there that's what we used to do we were a gang of uh, you know some not so good students who would actually uh, have a good time before exam and even after that i think this was school went pretty much okay my parents only expectation was you know be in the top 10 of your class and they didn't give an f about whether i was first or 10 so i should be in top 10 and after that it's just totally up to me so for most years of my school except for 11th i think i met that expectation for most years and 11th me i was only like oh my god my life is over so that was my condition and they were like it's okay your life is not over calm down <laughs> my parents never thrashed me for not scoring well i think they because my father was a teacher himself and he would understand this uh, you know psyche of a student better i think he he left me free with whatever i did i i can recall a moment when a friend of mine who was just you know a bare passer and his mother promised that if he gets 50% in 10th he'll get a bike he'll get laptop and what not and whereas my mom she just said okay congratulations <laughs> so i guess she never really cared every time whenever i scored less i always got a huge round of thrashing from my parents my mom and dad both matlab kabhi kabhar aisa hota hai ki agar father maar rahe hote hain to mummy side leti hain yahan par dono ek sath ho jate the aur dono pitai karte the acche se meri bahut pitai hui hai when i came to the university and achanak se i got in the merit list and uh, i was i was the topper of the university and my parents were said ke ye tu kiska result lekar aaya ye tera nahi ho sakta school mein kabhi tere number aaye nahi yahan par kaise aaya number aa gaye tere